I help businesses, freelancers learn chatbot marketing for their business to increase their leads and conversions. My name is DJ Dadula and I am the Marketing DJ. Subscribe to my channel and enjoy. All right, welcome to this next lesson of our bot cake series. All right, so make sure you click the description below to see all of our previous training so you can understand and follow me along on this training. All right, so right now we'll be um, um, learning how we can create a sequence. Uh, in a chatbot, sequences are a series of flows that you will send to a subscriber or a user on a specific time and conditions. So for example, you have uh, a sequence where you want to remind someone that hey uh, you said that you want to have like you know you want to join to a webinar or an event you click this and click that and the next day or in a few few minutes or few hours you want to send them a reminder that hey you, you're uh, you're actually um uh, going to see this and maybe this will be helpful for that event so we will create those sequences because the sequences are essential to promote something maybe you have like a sale coming or a detail about a product all right so how we can do that in bot cake is uh, doing this simple step so right now we will have to log into our bot and then we will uh, select the page where we want to test it so right now what we need to do is we go to automation then go to sequences so here you can create unlimited sequences and there's no limit actually but i'll show you how you can use and uh, you know fully uh, function uh, sequences here so you can either way click this blue button says this button or create new uh, the di difference is, is if you see sequences already obviously this button the blue button will not appear here but using this create new green button so let's get used to it we create the green one so if you want to create create one like this one is a sequence one sequence you can spell it right sequence one then you have to create and then we will see the sequence one here and we will create the sequence two so that in our testing we know where we are going to all right so sequence one it says the subscribers and the message so subscribers here is whenever you enroll a user or a user come into the flow and you want to subscribe to the sequence you will see the increase of subscribers here and if you remove them or unsubscribe them from sequence, you will see a decrease of subscribers here. And then the messages here is not really uh, people reading the message, but the message that contains the messages containing or uh, messages containing inside of a sequence. So we will here you can click these three buttons here and you can rename copy the sequence or copy sequence to another page or delete so we will have to click the sequence here so we can create a series of messages so let's click the this button and then you can see this um menu here so you can create multiple messages here and plus you can create actions so if you want to click click messages then you click and click there's no limit on doing this actually i haven't um pushed this to a limit so you can create like multiple sequences and you can create a timeline where you want a series of messages to be sent to a subscriber all right so what we need to do is either click um this activate if you've already created your um sequence all right so for simplicity's sake we will delete all of this <laughs> so that this one and this one and this one as well all right so we will create our first 
sequence using the create new answer. So if we want to click that, then we want to say something like, uh, this is the first message of sequence one, right? So just for a simple one, but you notice that there is a triangle alert here because in, uh, in uh, messenger bots, uh, Facebook want to make sure that the message is set with a content type, all right? So you see the, the button, you can see in the screen to see what is a content type. But basically, we will just, you know, select one here, all right? So for example, we will select another other because the first uh, sequence, the first message in the sequence is the sequence where people actually opt in. But make sure that the message is actually a user uh, opt-in all right so let's click save then we'll go back to the sequence with this button so obviously we have the first message and we will activate this now so what actually would happen here is you want to tell botcake hey botcake if i put people in the sequence one um send it what now after a minute after a few hours or a few days. So be careful on choosing this because if the rule, you know, uh, make sure you click the button there in the screen or in the description to see what is this rule is all about. But for now, we will just uh, click a now since it will be the first message for a testing purposes. So we will click save and update. And after that, we will schedule another message inside of the sequence. So we will fire this after like one minute. All right, click save and update. And then we will choose the next answer. So right now, you will type like this is the second message after a minute in sequence one. And then we will choose other here because it's still um, within 24 hours. So we can really send message within 24 hours, um, a pro pro promo or non-promo messages, right? Just click save and then we'll go back to sequence one. And then we will activate this message right now. So if you... Like we have two sequences, right? If you want to, to create another sequence, you can actually put an action. So this is the advantage with Botcake because you can actually put action as a sequence. So if you click this action, there are a lot of things going in here in this action, but we will subscribe them to another sequence. If that we will put an, uh, uh, a filter here, but for now we will just select first, a sub register to track the sequence. We will choose the sequence two, all right? So we'll activate that and then we will choose a timeline. So we will tell uh, Botcake, hey Botcake, send this now every time this condition is met, all right? So we will create a tag here. For example, if the, the person clicks a button. So we will click this um, sequence number two and click edit. And we will we want to, you know, create a button like says click here. And then click here. Let me change that. And then we will select a message. Like great. Okay. So we'll go back there, click here, and then we'll put actions here. Action actually is an action when the, this button is pressed. So when this button, click here, is pressed, it will send the message flow number two. And also, we will tag people. We will tag that, hey, this person clicked the button. Okay, first of all, we want to create tags. So we click this settings, 
and then we will go to tag and then we will create our tag so notice here there are pancake uh, menus but we will not you know go over this but if you create tag in bot cake it will stay in bot cake but if you already have tags in pancake so check the link below or the i button above here to see what is pancake all right so if you want to tag just click tag and then we have tag one right just click create and we have this tag right now all right so let's go back to the flow so we will click create and then we will actually refresh this one let's refresh so we've refreshed it already and then we can select this tag and click save so if this is clicked it will send the great message and also tag that to tag one so let's save and then we can now go back to sequence number one all right so the sequence number three inside the sequence number one or the message number three inside sequence number one should fire now after uh, every time a tag tag one is tagged to that user so what will happen here so this one will um, send a message to the user if we subscribe them to this sequence number one and after a minute it will send a content that has something like this this is second message after a minute in sequence number one and then if someone click this it will tag that user and then this the third message will fire our third uh, part of the sequence will fire now if this tag is um, seen okay then this action we will go to the sequence number one so let's go to sequences and we will see what is the sick uh, let's see here number two let's go to number two and we will create a success message all right and we will have like other because this is within 24 hours so we go to sequence two and then we will activate this and we will just wait for a minute then click save then there we go we have two activated sequences so we'll go back to the sequence and then we'll see that this will register to sequence number two now what we have to do is go to the flow and then we'll just have to, you know, go to the flow number one. And then we will edit this. And then we will say like, hey, if you click this link, we will register. No, this one. If we click this link, the, the message is this is a button one. And then we will add an action and click register to track the sequence. And we will select sequence number one save and save and let's preview so what I actually do uh, this one will be sent and then if the user click the button number one it will register to sequence one let's click save let's see that in our bot here so let's make a larger one so since we want to select the button one we will click button number one there should be hey this is the button number one this is a button one and then the first the first message of sequence one will fire and now we will wait for a minute so it will fire so let's understand first before we see we were wait uh since we're waiting for the next message so we've registered the user to the sequence because we click the button number one so make sure you use the register to track the sequence okay so if the button is pressed then bot cake will send will fire that message on sequence one since we've set up a uh, see here we set up a a now timeline 
So after a minute, after we click that button, and after a minute, this message should fire. All right. This message should fire that it has like a second message. All right. So we've received the second message after a minute in sequence one. So obviously we we don't see the next message because there is a condition if there is a tag equals to tag one. All right. So if we click this button, it says click here, great. So it will now tag. So I should be tagged. Let's go to customer. I click my name here. I'm now tagged as tag number one. Okay. So after a minute, there should, uh, the bot cake will fire the next message. So if you go to customer, you can check your, you know, your details here about the customer. So right now we can see tag and then which sequences it was enrolled. All right, so th these are the information of each of your customers or your users or subscribers inside your bot, which you can see probably on the video uh, on top of this video or down below. All right, we've just received our success message here. And it seems that uh, it fires after some time and we just waited for one minute. All right, so that's how we uh, we set up a sequence where you want to send messages to your subscribers on any content. Make sure you uh, check out the other videos about the policies on how you can really send sequences safely and without breaking Facebook policy or rules. All right, so in the description below, you can also see that. And I want to see you on the next videos soon. Thank you very much again for watching and learning with my channel. Make sure to hit subscribe. And if you have a time, please like this button, like this video, and share your thoughts in the comments below. All the links and uh, you know possible uh, resources and uh, groups are in the description for you, designed for you to learn and engage with us. See you on my next video again, and thank you very much.